Hi y'all, this is so so blessed. Welcome to the blessed place. How y'all doing? As I often say, long time no see. So I'm on the road um, following my husband. Um, when he got off work, I went and met him at his job. We went and ran some errands and we're headed back home. So I'm on these country roads in Georgia, um, headed back home. So I decided, let me talk to my people, my blessed ones. Um, I think I'm a little lopsided, so if I am, just talk, take all mistakes for love. You have to be in church to understand that one. <laughs> so, um, listen, you guys, I miss you. When I tell you you're always on my mind, always, I'm like, I miss my blessed ones. I got to talk to my blessed ones. I got to update my blessed ones. Y'all, okay, let's, let's try to get some updates in here. What's been going on? So, most of you know that I'm back and forth between Georgia and Florida. And if you don't know, and if you're new to my channel, I know sometimes if you're, you know, if you're a dedicated blessed one and you've been with me for a while or for a long time, it becomes redundant when I repeat stuff. But I know when I come across people that I might watch for the first time and I'm like, give me some background. Um, give me some, some, some update. You know, I'm here for the first time. So... Um, I'm a Floridian, long time Floridian, 52 years. My husband and I moved to Georgia seven months ago. Uh, we live in Rock Mart, Georgia, which is about 35 minutes northwest of Atlanta. Um, loving it, but I also still work in Florida. I had two jobs in Florida, full-time and part-time. I gave up a full-time job, but I still work my part-time job. Why? That's the big question a lot of people ask, why? Um, is because of a whole lot of reasons, but I give you the top main reasons. Number one, I can make my own schedule. I, you know, tell them, look, I, this is what I'm available, and I usually send them a month and ahead of time and say, this is what I'm available for August, and this is what I'm available for September. And like September, this is also a little update side note, but I'm going on a cruise this September. Uh, me and Derica going on a farewell cruise, and I'll get to that why it's a farewell cruise, and then. Um, I also am going on a six day, our 16th annual Hillary Girl out, Girls Outing. Uh, Y'all know, if you've been here for a while, every year we go to the Southern Women's Show in the Kissimmee area of um, Orlando, Florida, and we stay in a big house, and this time we're extending it to six days. So I'm gonna be on a five day cruise, on a six day vacation with my mom and sisters and nieces, and, um, and so I'm only working like maybe a, a week or so in um, September. And I just like it like that, that I can, I don't have to ask, can I take off? Um, so that's why, that's number one. You know, I, I get paid pretty well. Also the familiarity. Um, I'm not one that likes to step much out of my comfort zone, even though these days there's a big push for getting out of your comfort, overcome your fear, you know, and, and I'm all for that. But I'm just, I am just can't lie. I'm just a stay in your comfort zone kind of girl. And this, where I work at the sheriff's office is where I've been for 30 years, minus the eight years that I went to another police department. So that's the main reason. Um, it's money, familiarity, and number one, being able to make my own schedule. Um, but, and also too, and I would say <clears throat> probably right after being able to make my own schedule, the fact that I love what I do. Now one operator, police dispatcher for the last 30 years and I, and I love it. And, 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 and to be honest, it's like, I even love the fact that I don't have the responsibility of, of, of a whole three divisions. When I was at, um, my, my full-time job, I had the responsibility of, um, dispatch records, evidence and property. And oh my God, my God, my God, as, as Tabitha Brown can say, anybody, anybody know who Tabitha Brown is? I just know from IG, she might have a YouTube channel, but my God, my God. <laughs> so that was a lot. So being able to just go to work and do dispatch and get paid for it, for something I love to do, all I can say is my God, my God, my God is good. Um, anyway, so let me see if I can get back on track. Well, this is kind of an unedited chat because y'all, I'm, I'm going to be all over the place. So let's, while I'm remembering this, why are, why are Derricka and I, is that, why is Derricka and I, why are, okay, 
Derica and I are going on a cruise together. It'll be our first cruise ever, just the two of us together. I've been on maybe 14 cruises, but it'll be the first time it'll be just Derica and I. And we planned a cruise one time before, maybe about, I don't know, five years ago. And she had to give her cruise away to my sister, Danica, because she got called to go overseas to play. She went to either Mexico or Puerto Rico or somewhere to play. And so she gave Danica her cruise. Well, this time it's another farewell cruise because she's going away for a year. You know, um, she probably don't mind me telling you all where she's going, but I leave that to her business. But she's going uh, uh, around the world. Let's just say it's going to take about 29 hours to get there put it that way but she's going um out of the country for a year so i said derica let's do a cruise and also too is my birthday of uh, this month august 28th but in september we're going on the cruise so we're going on mariner of the sea which is a royal caribbean uh cruise and to me i checked it out and did some research and it seems to be kind of a mini uh they've upgraded the cruise and it seems to be kind of a mini symphony of the seas and a mini um Harmony of the Seas, and I thoroughly enjoyed Symphony and Harmony. Oh my God, cruising is, I mean, y'all know what I feel about cruise. I love cruises, and I'm basically going to take one. I decided, I'm 53, I'll be 53 in August, August 28th. I'll be 53, and I, you know, I got, I've I've lived more life than I'm going to live, and that's just the fact. I, I, I doubt if I live to be older than 106 years old, so it's just a fact um, I mean, if God should say so, I don't mind. But I doubt if I live to be more than 106. So I've lived more life than I'm going to live. And as you get older, you start getting more clear and more keen as to what you want in your life. And one thing I know I want for sure is is um, good times, doing what I love, my passion. And one of my passion is cruises. My pa cruising is my passion. And I am going to go cruise at least every three to four months. Every three to four months. I don't care if it's a two-day cruise. Every three to four months, I'm going cruising. And that's what that's the gift I'm giving myself. I work hard. Y'all, we're not even going to get into the working hard. But let's get into this, this feeling of guilt. So, y'all, I, when, I, when I come home, and I, what I mean is when I leave Florida from working, I come home to Georgia... Um, and I, I kind of do nothing. I mean, I, I clean my house. The Lord knows it be needing cleaning by the time I get back with that man of mine. Um, but I clean my house. I wash clothes. I um, go do, you know, do a little errand running. But I don't really do a whole lot. And sometimes I get a little uh, guilty. I'm like, DJ, you just sitting here playing solitaire and watching Netflix and then chilling and wasting your life away. And then I have to remind myself, you know what, Deidre, this is not, you're doing what you want to do because you work hard. You have worked hard over the years and you work hard. Y'all, there was a time, y'all was right here with me. Some of y'all was right here with me. There were times, and this, I'm telling myself, I had to say all this to myself. Um, so you say, who are you trying to convince? Yeah, I, I'm trying to convince myself. I had to convince myself. But there were times that uh, recently, up until April, up until April of 2019, that there were times that I would leave for work at 7.30 in the morning for my 8 o'clock job and would not come back home until midnight at 12.30 a.m. And I did that day after day, day after day after day, working two jobs. And so I have to remind myself that, Deidre, it is okay to take a season of rest. It is okay to take a season of replenishment and a season of refreshing and a season of repast and a season of... Uh, doing what you want to do and I guess I'm sharing that because I want to also share that with you that we go through different seasons in our life and there's gonna be seasons where you're raising your children perhaps even season you're raising you're helping to raise your grandchildren perhaps season that you've gone through sickness or illness sick perhaps season where you've had to work hold down two and three jobs perhaps seasons that you've had to do all kinds of things and that you had to grind that you had to put the work in and perhaps God has blessed you now with a season of of retirement or refreshing or even if you're not retired maybe maybe you're maybe you're a boss and you don't have to work as hard and maybe you feel a little guilty maybe you're a supervisor manager boss and maybe you have you feel a little guilty um, that you're not working as hard as you used to because we're especially as women we're used to going 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 
and perhaps you feel a little guilty that you don't have to work as hard as you had to work before. And I'm telling you all, don't feel guilty because life has seasons. God tells us to everything there's a season. And believe it or not, there is a season. Sometimes we think everything has to be bad. Either we have to be working hard or we have to be sick or we have to be um, depressed or we have to be grinding or we have to be, you know, doing all of these different things that there is to do in life. But we don't think that there could be a time of blessings, a time of rest, a time of refreshing, a time of being loved on, a time of being catered to, a, be, a time of receiving. Because y'all know we givers, give, 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 give. And I know this is the biggest thing, um, problem I have is that I'm a giver, 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 giver. And I don't ever think that there's a season for receiving. And when I when I do receive, it, it feels odd. Like, why 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 is that happening? Why is this good thing happening to me? Why is somebody giving this to me? Why why did why did this person give me some money? Why and you know we think that there had there is not a season for good in our life. And I just want to share with you that you know that oh Lord, this this what this is supposed to be an update. This was not supposed to be about me giving y'all encouragement and words of advice. Oh gosh, it's just in me, y'all. It's in me. Okay. So, anyways, y'all. So, anyways, I'm going on the cruise. Let me just wrap this up real quick because we're 11 minutes and something. So, but I hope that we did bless somebody. But um, so in August, well, let me tell y'all, uh, me and Derricka, this is October, I think we're going, but Derricka and I are going on a Chick-fil-A tour. I just thought about it because I passed by Chick-fil-A. And we're going on a tour of the Chick-fil-A here in Atlanta. In ATL, we're going on Chick-fil-A crew, uh, Chick-fil-A tour. So I just had to share that with you all. Um, but then, yes, I'm going on a cruise for five days um, in September. And then at the end of September, I'm going to the Southern Women Show with my sisters and my mom, our 16th year, four generations. Miss my grandma because it used to be five generations until she passed a few years ago. And then, um, and then um, my daughter leaves in October. She'll be gone for a year. And I'll be continuing to go back and forth to Florida. And then in Thanksgiving, Chris, in Thanksgiving, my whole family's coming here to Georgia to um, to come fellowship and stay at our house with us and have um, Thanksgiving uh, dinner with us. But um, Derricka and Danica, Danica's also going um, to another country. Uh, they're going together. So Danica, they won't be here for Thanksgiving, but they will be here for our Southern Women Show. So, okay, y'all, I think that's the update because my husband just pulled, I was following him. He just pulled into Subway. So I guess that's what we're having for dinner tonight. Um, but y'all, I've been cooking. I've been cooking. I've been cooking. That one, right? Erase the board, like my mama say. But anyway, y'all, I've been cooking. So that's a whole nother video. I'll share with y'all that I've been cooking. Heck with my husband. Let me see. All right, baby. I'll buy you buy myself, baby. Okay, come say hi. Come say bye to the people for me. Right. My, my man taking me out to dinner, y'all. He finna buy me a sub. Yeah, bye. That's all. <laughs> she, be, she better hurry up too. <laughs> Love y'all. Y'all be blessed.